She was an NC Mulligan. What's up, you guys? This episode will be a very special episode because we're going to start talking about exercises. I'm Kapitid Chester. I'm Kapitid Ian. And we are the Kapitids. Are you guys ready? In 3, 2, 1, let's go! Osteoarthritis, aka degenerative joint disease, is associated with degrading articular cartilage, subsequently affecting the underlying bone, causing osteophyte formation of the joint margins. And throughout the years, one could note the increasing prevalence of knee osteoarthritis in the middle ages of women more than men. In fact, the point prevalence of OA is 4.1% of an urban population in the Philippines with a mean age of 34. Our capital city Manila, which has a population of 11 million, therefore has a, an approximately half a million sufferers of OA. So Ian, what do you think is the perfect approach towards osteoarthritis? Oh, I know about this. So I feel like we, we've read the same article, right? Yes. So how about we say the best technique together? Okay. okay. One, two, two, three, go. Make I feel like Mulligan technique is better though. Maitland is better. Here's the reason why. Maitland mobilization includes continuous analytical assessment of the nature of disorder which mainly involves identifying the pain mechanisms driving the dysfunctional movement patterns. Here, passive physiological and accessory oscillatory movements are applied to the joint to gain range of motion, which were lost due to pain. The grade, frequency, and dosage of mobilization is determined by SIN, severity, irritability, and nature of disorder. On the other hand, mulligan mobilization with movement is based on the concept that minor position faults occur in articulating surfaces of joints after an injury or strain resulting in movement restriction and pain exacerbated by active contraction of muscles within the faulty positions of joint. Here, it involves passive accessory glide as a corrective technique and is applied perpendicular to the joint plane to correct the positional fault together with the aggravating movement being actively performed and sustained in repetition. There you have it guys for Maitland's technique and Mulligan's mobilization with movement. Now it is scientifically proven that both techniques are equally effective. So guys, don't get confused choosing between the two because most likely both of them are going to bring the same benefits. Decrease in pain as well as improve in mobilization. Exactly, so if you're planning for intervention, it's going to be both effective if you're choosing either way. And now guys, stay tuned in for more exercises here on our channel. Once again, this is Kapitids! Kapitids.